When the world turns its back on you and faith in your ability seems to evaporate, I know it hurts deeply. I've been there, feeling lost in the dark, wondering if anyone understands. People look at you, puzzled by your persistence, wondering why you keep trying when everything seems against you. Why not give up? Leave behind those big, unreachable dreams, they say. They urge you to forget it all, to play it safe, to blend into the crowd, because why be different? But amidst their words of caution, remember this. The problem isn't your dreams. It's the weight of their doubt that is holding you down. Don't let their negativity define you. The bright future is waiting for you, just beyond the horizon. There will be hurdles and doubters trying to drag you back to the ground. Your dedication scares those who prefer being mediocre. They'll laugh at you, they'll criticize, but they'll never understand. It's not about how others perceive you. If you let others' views define you, you're setting yourself up for failure. You're intrinsically exceptional, even if others are blind to it. You're intrinsically remarkable, even if others fail to acknowledge it. But when you believe in yourself, when you refuse to give up, you're seen as different, as someone who defies the odds. Hold on to your dreams, even when the world doubts you, for it is in those moments of doubt that your strength truly shines. I admire anyone who keeps going, no matter what, who faces the storms of life with unwavering determination. Forget about fitting in, about following the crowd. That's not for me, and it's not for you. I'll keep chasing my dreams, even when others tell me to stop. Because I know that deep within my heart, those dreams are worth fighting for. While others settle for less, I'll keep moving forward. When they party, I work. When they are wasting their time sleeping in, I'm working all morning. With each step, I'll bring myself closer to my dreams. Why take the risk? Stick to what's safe, to what's easy. They'll say, what if you fail? They'll ask, their voices filled with doubt. But failure is just another step on the journey to success. And I'm not afraid to stumble along the way. Just like a little seed in the ground, I'll keep growing, reaching for the sun, even when the storms rage around me. Even when it's hard, even when I'm scared, even when I'm hurting, I'll keep believing, I'll keep hoping. For deep down, I know that as soon as I get to that dream, it will be so worth it. Your dreams are worth fighting for. You don't feel like it today. I know you had a long night, you're a little tired, you don't feel like it. I get it. But if you don't feel like getting after it, I hope you feel like being weak. I hope you feel like not accomplishing anything because that's what's going to happen. If nothing changes, nothing changes. And yet, somehow we expect things to change. You think you're going to get in better shape. You think you're going to get more money. You think your relationship is going to improve. You think you're going to get promoted. You think you're going to get a raise. You think the world is going to get better without you doing anything. But it isn't. Nothing is going to change unless you change what you're doing. Change the junk food that you're eating. Change the time that you wake up. Change what you do when you get out of bed. Change what you do with your time. That's what you need to do. You have to change some things or nothing will change. So make changes. And start little. Get up a little bit earlier. Get a workout done. Doesn't have to be epic. You don't have to do a three hour leg day, but get up and get something done. And how about you plan what you're going to do in the day? How about you change what time you get to work by showing up 10 minutes earlier and you square your gear away or you dial in your tools or your desk or your workspace. That's what you need to do. You want to know how to get better? You want to know how to take back control of your life? Stop looking for a sweatless solution. Stop looking for the easy path. Stop looking for someone or something to turn it all around for you. And start looking for your will. Start looking for your discipline. 
when you start hearing that weakness creep into your brain, telling you to back down. In that very moment, you've got to decide that you're going to be the commander of your brain. You've got to shut that weak voice down. It does not get a vote in what you're doing today. Your laziness, your sore legs, your sleepiness, your feelings, none of those get a vote. You're asserting dominance over your mind. You are getting sh done whether you feel like it or not. If you tell yourself the truth, and the truth is, I'm not happy with where I'm at. That's the truth. The truth is, I can do more. The truth is, I can be in better shape. The truth is, I can work harder than I'm working right now. The truth is, I can do more for my family. The truth is, I can do much better than I'm doing right now. If that's the real truth, if that's what you believe, if you believe that to be the truth, you won't have to find more discipline. Discipline will find you. I don't hang with people who can only get up when they got something to motivate you. That's not somebody I want to hang out with. I don't want to hang with somebody. I don't care what the circumstances. I don't care what the situation. You put it on your back and you're like, let's go. Are you hearing me? You got that dog. You got to be intentional and deliberate. And everybody that's running with you got to be intentional and deliberate. Discipline is doing what you said you were going to do when you don't feel like doing it when you felt like doing it in the first place. That's all it is. But most people will not be successful because when there's not anything emotionally attached to it, they're going to quit and give up. Most people were closer than they ever thought they were to finishing that big thing, but they never finished it because they didn't feel like finishing it or they were doing it and it was pain. And most people quit in the pain because the pain hurts so bad that they don't know if they want to keep going to get to go. Like you're going to wake up most days and not be pumped up. You're going to wake up most days and not feel like doing it. But when you can get to a point that you do it anyway, then there's no way you won't reach any of your goals. And you will have to fight and fight and fight and fight and most of you won't be successful not because you can't do it but you can't outlast your old you long enough to get to your new you there's no one say i want to procrastinate i don't want to get it done i don't want to get to the next level no every person wants to make their dreams become a reality but the reason why most people will never get it never achieve it and never succeed is because you got to give up stuff in order to go up you got to make sacrifices. You got to discipline yourself consistently. You got to program yourself to suffer on a daily basis in order to reform those lazy habits into ones that build success. I need you to do sh that sucks every day of your life. That's how you get better. That's how you get stronger. You embrace the resistance you feel when you're stretching yourself to go beyond what's comfortable. And if you're not pushing yourself, you're shrinking. You are fading away. And the reason why we fast from time to time is not that we have to fast, but at some point you got to fast because you got to tell the flesh who's in control. I'm in control. You're not in control. I know you don't want to wake up. You don't have an option. Get up. We trying to eat. There's a certain lifestyle we want. Everybody wants it. Everybody dreams of it, but very few are willing to work for it. So you got to make a declaration that you are going to be one of those few people who will make it happen. Talk is cheap. So you shut your mouth and grind. Your actions will speak for themselves. You make those little changes, those little habits that you have. You have to change them, those bad habits. And you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised the little things, the little changes, they add up and they become big things. Change the little things and over time, you can change your life. But if you don't change, if you don't change what you're doing and how you do it, nothing else will change. Reset your brain, reset your habits, reset your life.